hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to simnaya and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great i am sure you all are going to know this video once it plays and all that but i am really sick and tired of waking up to some certain things happening to black people you know and uh this case has really lingered for almost a year and as a few days ago the judge in, this happened in texas the judge uh, gave their rules and it was about the black teenage suspension who over dreadlocks and they are saying that the dreadlocks doesn't violate crown art. So the, the, the court ruled in the school's favor, right? Because the young man has locks and they are talking about the length. The hair that was con rolled and the young man is disappointed he is depressed he is scared how do you explain to a young a young boy that like you know i don't know but how do we keep explaining to our child that that i mean like you know you have to explain everything about you as a black person you have to grow up so fast everything about you it's more like a struggle because the system has made it that way you see the reason why i keep saying it that i do not like culture appropriation especially when it comes to locks when it comes to hair and they tell you it is ordinary hair shut the hell up it is not ordinary hair let's get into this video when you're the only one stuck in a room for a whole semester a whole year at that it's just like it makes you feel it makes you feel some type of way because you can't be a child like everybody else you know you see everybody else walking around talking laughing you can't do that it's put a lot of emotions on me you know anger sadness um you know disappointment and <laughs> my bad it's okay. Take your time. Apologize for how they make you feel. That's 18 year old Daryl George. He was suspended from school last August because his locks violated the school dress code. Daryl's mum filed a complaint, accusing the district of violating a new law, the Crown Act, which was made to stop racial discrimination based on hairstyle. On Thursday, a Texas judge ruled that the school district did not break state law. A lawyer for the family said that they plan to file an appeal. Meanwhile, Daryl will remain suspended and removed from the school's regular classrooms. Uh, it, just, it just makes me feel angry, very angry that, you know, Throughout all these years, throughout all the all the fighting for the Black history that we've that we've already done, we still have to do this again and again and again. is is ridiculous. First of all, it's nothing confusing. It's been almost one year and two months because we're in 2024. This incident has took place in 2023. And to me, I think that the school and even the, tex the state of Texas is very petty because they're trying to treat this young man like he's a common criminal, a juvenile delinquent, and we're not doing that, okay? I have been on this case and finding out more information about this young man because he has been disputing this thing alongside with his mother, and I know his mother is stressed out because... What they're trying to do to this young man is not right. And they, and if they could do this to young man, imagine what they have done to previous kids before. Now, the state of almost in the United States, they allow the Crown Act law, which is a law that protects men and women and children who have natural styling, braids, any type of hair texture of their hair, where... I remember this young girl, she was playing volleyball or something. She had to take all the beads out of her hair because the coach said, um, the referee said that's going to disqualify. And the beads represent something as a style or part of her race, ethnicity, whatever. There was a young man where the coach cut his hair because he had his hair in locks. Okay? You know, people need to stop with that Anglo-Saxon, that common law foolishness. Because that's what they've been doing for many, many years. Saying that locks and braids and all that et um, ethnicity that most people like us wear is a hazard, it's a problem. No, it's not. I believe when you have your hair clean, you come out in a good structure, and you perform yourself well, it should not be a problem. Okay? Lock has been for centuries. 
in Bible times. If you look at some of the great people who are kings and queens and, and disciples and prophets, they had locks. David's son Absalom had locks. Samson had locks, which not only was a protection, but it was a code of God's strength that allowed him to, 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 to tear the, the, um, to tear the head of a lion and to even break down the puddle of the stone, even though his locks was tearing off, God was still with him. Okay. If you, even Daniel had locks, Meshach, Shabrach, and Benjago had locks. Okay. Everybody in the centuries had locks. All right, whether they were kings, servants, or so forth. And these were noble people. These were people that was righteous in the eyes of God. Now, we're in modern times of 2024, which is the 21st century. Okay, why is it that this young boy is being harassed? And then they turned around and overturned the judgment and put it in the favor of the school. Okay, when I put the clap in, it's not to mimic him. Is to encourage him to continue on doing the good fight. And don't give up. Okay? If the mother have to relocate to another school or relocate to another state, then so be it. Okay? And as for the lawsuit of the school and saying they don't find that's discrimination. Well, if that they don't consider that to be discrimination, then what the hell is? I would have still taken it to the Supreme Court. And I would take it out of the jurisdiction of Texas. And the reason why I put the crown on his head because... That is a symbol of something that is on you, that you believe in, and you did it because you wanted to do it. It's your freedom. It's your way of you to know that you have your crown and you should never put it down. Okay? This is for me to encourage, to spread the word to everybody, that if you have natural styling in your hair, and you so happen to go in a corporate, corporate setting, and they telling you, oh, this is not appropriate, you got to cut it off, say no. Okay, say there's not a problem. If I come here to work every single day and I'm doing my work and everything and I'm not harassing anybody and I follow the protocol, then that's your problem. But as a child going to school and trying to make him look like a delinquent, that's going to be a problem. And that's a problem from any mother. You know, we, we go and trend about certain things that's on social media and other things about people that don't even act like we don't exist. But this is a common young man who has been going through so much last year, especially in his year, come to find out that he, this kid is a very gifted child. He's, he's a great in school. Um, a, lot of, a lot of his peers saying that he doesn't bother. I think he plays basketball, he plays football. And then when you're doing these type of things to discourage his child, this is giving him the energy to turn around and want to drop out. But he's not going to drop out, okay? This is for him to fight. And you know what? He, to me, is a hero. Because for you to stand there and have to take this situation on in this modern time. And then they did it right here on Black History Month. That goes to show that how they spit on the face of our people. And they spit on the face of our children. And all they want to do is put our kids in institutions that we don't, that where they don't belong. Okay? He's in a public school where his mother paid taxes. Okay, where well, she is an instrument every day by going to work and he's an instrument to go to school every day. But how can he when they keep on depriving him and trying to use their white supremacy power? Okay, because they won this case by default. They run this case because their people come together and their people know deep down inside that they're wrong, but they want to look the other way because it will look bad on their book. Okay, they did not win this. They did not win this um, war. They did not win this battle, okay? Because they won this by default, by connecting with each other. That's why we need to connect with each other. I may not can do that much on my end, but being that voice to speak on this end and pass this around all over to all you guys that have millions of followers, this is something that you guys need to focus on. Not no Beyonce with no Texas hold or whatever. Because some of these celebrities, they wouldn't even look at this thing and try to encourage it. And try to push it. And push it to the limit. Okay? That's why I like my old school people then. Because when they look at these type of things, they would have turned around and put this in a rap lyric. Or R&B lyric. Or some kind of lyric. And then turn around and push it. Push it to the limit. Okay? Even take it. Where's Killer Mike? 
who won all these three Grammys and telling kids, oh, you need to be a president and telling this one and disencouraging this one, okay? We don't need those type of commercial artists. We need people that is ordinary people just like myself that wakes up in the morning every day and pissing shit in every day and do what they, we have to do in order to get get by and not and do it the systematic way. This young man has been fighting for this. So we got to fight for him. If you guys can pass things around with Palestine and all the stuff that's going around, then you can pass these things around and preach certain things and encourage because this social media of TikTok is very valuable. Okay, if we use it the right way. So we need to encourage this young man and keep on passing it around. And the more we pass it around and it so happened it goes into the right hand, this young man will have his freedom. This one, his chains will be broken. But we can't just, I can't just do it alone. I need all of y'all to do it. Okay? And I need this TikTok app to do it. And not put people on community guideline because they're speaking the truth. Okay? This is a purpose of us, a commercial, a PSA, a public announcement. This is a breaking news that we need to break the chain of this and not allow other states to do, turn around and know that we have a law that protects us and they're telling us that this is not a violation when they're violating us because this could be my child. This could be a family member of mine. So I that's why I'm standing because like his mother, I was once a single mother and I'm still a single mother and I'm proud to be one. So we need to come together and help this young man. So this is an explanation of me giving a round of applause to him to encourage him to fight the good fight and don't stop. Don't even cut your locks. Continue to go to school every day and, and follow the curriculum and do what you got to do. So you all remember 18-year-old Daryl George, the Barber Hill High School student that has been suspended because of his dreads? Well, it seems that a Texas judge made a ruling today. Now, how many of you all are surprised that a Texas judge said that the suspension over his dreadlocks does not violate the Crown Act? Now, previously, George Poole, the superintendent of Barbara Hill School District, said the following, hair length of male students is only constitutionally protected for Native American students. Length of hair is not protected in the Crown Act, nor any of the Crown Acts in the 24 states that have one. Poole further went on to state that the Texas Crown Act protects hair texture and the wearing of braids, twists, and locks. Those with agendas wish to make the Crown Act a blanket allowance of student expression. Again, we look forward to this issue being legally resolved. And that legal resolution came today by way of this judge. State District Judge Chap Kane. After the ruling by the Texas judge siding with the school, Barbara Hill School released the following statement. The Texas legal system has validated our position that the district's dress code does not violate the Crown Act and that the Crown Act does not give students unlimited self-expression. Who exactly is surprised by this ruling? So this is all I have from this, and I am really very sad. If you can also notice that from my face, my voice, and all that. <clears throat> I am very sad that this young boy ha had to do with all this uh, BS and the rest of it. I am not. I am not uh, surprised that the uh, the judge says black teenage suspension over drug law does not violate Crown Act. Just looking at the hair, you can see how they cornrow the hair. I just don't understand. I am sick. I am tired of waking up to things like this. This the this are uh, I think they are uh, this happened last year, and um, just a few days back. You know, or I don't know how many days, but not like you know, just a few days back, they they ruled the school and all that. So uh, the fact that this young man had to go through the whole thing, the depression, the sadness, disappointment, 
And the fact that he said that uh, when you think we are free and we are not free, like, you know, for how, how long? What does, I don't know, I'm just looking at just somebody's hair. It's just like telling a white boy, right, to cut his hair. A white boy that wants to keep his hair, right, that does not want to cut it, is like going to tell him to cut his hair. And it is rare to hear something like this, like I have never heard where they ask a white boy to go cut his hair because his hair is grown. But we have to go through all this, right? This is the reason why when people talk about cultural appropriation, when you see people getting locks, when you see people getting dread, like, you know, braids and all that. And I tell you that I am sad. Some say it is just lock, it is just hairstyle, right? But the people that they have, that got the hairstyle cannot wear it. Cannot, they cannot, it is not being appreciated. But when other people wear it, when other people do it, it is all good, it is all fancy. But when we wear our own hair, it is ghetto. So this is one of the reasons why when I hear people culture appropriating that I say I do not like it and I do not like it sincerely speaking. I am not saying this because I want to favor somebody or because I want you all to be happy. No, it is because it is not okay. It is not okay that my own people have to go through a lot of stress, getting job, uh, being in school, being accepted in professional places like job and all that. I see a lot of them losing their jobs. I see a lot of a lot of from color people saying, I am going to help you if you cut your locks. What does somebody, it's just like telling them to cut their hair so you can help them. I just don't get it. The obsession with anything that got to do with black people is just insane. That black people cannot have anything and have it in peace. They will always look for a way to strip it off from us. Somebody's hair just come rolling. And they are saying, what is long about the hair? What is long about the hair? So I am not confused that they ruled in favor of the school. But it is sad that in 2024, we still have to explain to people that this is our hair. It grows out from the root of my head. My hair, it is my hair. We have to explain to people. We have to, like, you know, tell people. We have, I didn't know. But uh, it sucks. It really does. And I am very mad that this young boy had to go through this. But I hope this is a very huge encouragement for him to keep going, never to give up. But do we always have to uh, uh, learn the hard way? I don't know how if this learning the hard way must our own be different. Why is it that everything that got to do with us is just always the hard way, the hard way? I am tired. I am not going to lie to you. I am tired. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.